Hey, welcome back to my channel. Now today I've got a little 2 by one expandable bunker for you lot. So without further ado, let's get into the tour. So coming through the first two doors, we have anything you could ever need. We have three furnaces in the usable honeycomb. We have a drop down storage box. We also have lots of storage up top. We have our bunker. Coming down into the main core, we have a lot of storage, um, TC obviously, this is the upkeep. Coming upstairs, we have our bedroom, with a locker, lots of storage. We have great peak downs. Uh, coming up another level, we have our heli storage. And that is that. So, if you want to win next week's giveaway for this garage door, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be choosing a winner from the comments, and I'll announce it in my next video. Also, the winner from last week's video is... Alex! Thanks for the comment, mate. Amazing bases. If you hit me up on Discord, I'll be sure to give you your skin. Right, let's get into the base design. So we're going to start off with a normal 2x1, cover that in with walls and we want to make both doors out of wood as we're going to hatchet them out later. We're going to place our TC in the right hand corner and slap our door down. Now to save your time and my time the power of editing this is what the boxes should look like and then we can go ahead and place our furnaces bag and workbench so that is the starter very easy to make very easy to upkeep when you're ready we can go ahead and place two triangle foundations in front Two walls like so and we will fill that in with a double door now you can use a furnace to get up but I like to use a ladder so currently this is what the base should look like so coming down to the right hand side of the door we're going to start our honeycomb but we want to make sure that there is a triangle floor halfway up on that because that will secure our bunker now you want to come to the other side as well and do a normal piece of honeycomb here because this is where our furnaces will go later so once your base looks like this we can go ahead to the back side of the base and place three triangle foundations and you want to make sure this one is wood. Now we'll cover that in with rules. And we can go ahead and fill that in. Now you want to make sure this one above the door is wood. And the rest can be stone. So once your 2 by one is looking like this, we can go ahead and upgrade the inside. Now coming downstairs, once you have a tier 2, this is what the base should look like. Here is TC again, very cheap. Once you're ready, we can go ahead and delete that door and place a doorway and a, another garage door down here. 
you want this door facing towards you. But just to finish off the bottom core, we go ahead and place our locker and our shotgun trap like so. So that is the core of the base finished. Moving upstairs to the upstairs storage. We can go ahead and get rid of that and place our garage door. And we'll place a triangle floor in the middle there. Now we can also go ahead and fill in the rest of these with garage doors. Leaving this bit behind us for our furnaces. Fill that in with two half walls, delete the bottom one and place a low wall there like so. That still acts as honeycomb and you can still access the furnaces. So to save your time again, I will show you how the boxes are placed like this and the same with this one. Now, once all of that is done, we can go ahead and fully upgrade everything you can see to metal and the core to high quality metal. When you're ready, we can switch back to stone and complete the outside honeycomb. Now everywhere, everywhere but the doorway is where you want to do two layers of honeycomb. Like so. Now out front, we can go ahead and place four triangle foundations and four roof triangles. This just makes it easier for us to get up. And then we can go ahead and sort our airlock out. Now your base should look like this. Now coming back inside with that wood you left earlier, we can go ahead and get rid of that. And place a wall downstairs and we'll make our drop down storage box. Now this ladder hatch is always a little bitch to place. So you're just gonna have to find the right angle and whack it down. We can also fit one sleeping bag down here to help us out with raids. Now moving to the one you left above your door, we can go ahead and place our ladder hatch there. And we can start on the shooting floor. So you're going to copy me on the shooting floor like so. Doorways. Now as you can see here I fall through, that is because that is not meant to be a triangle there, that is meant to be a square. Now, going to fill the roof in, you want to find all the squares, place that in, and the rest should be triangles. So you want to find your ladder hatch, go to the other side and place this one out of wood.
now we're coming to the ladder hatch again. We place our bedroom. And you can fill it with boxes like so. Now we can go ahead and place shop fronts and the garage doors and the rest. Whack our bed and our locker down. Now you still have good visibility here. Just always a good thing to have on a shooting floor. So what I like to do is place windows uh, in each of these just for extra protection. So. Now once you have a heli or once you are ready to make your heli storage, you can go ahead and place another ladder hatch just up here. And we will fill this in completely with door frames. We we'll place one garage door to the left and fill the rest in with shop fronts. And that is the base. Obviously, we can go ahead and fill in our shotgun traps, uh, also, our necessary things like research table, a few drop boxes, etc. And that is the base. So I have a few things to show you just after this. Just like how the bunker works and a few little tips and tricks. So I'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace. So for the bunker, we will place our triangle frame here and a triangle roof, like so. Go ahead and upgrade that to high quality. So any braiders that come through doors or they go through the top wall, they will need to go through this bunker. To destroy it, when you get back on or when you wake up in your bag, all you have to do just grab a weapon, come to your door and destroy this twig and it opens it right up. And just a little tip here, if you have a rug or a carpet, you can go ahead and place that in front of your furnaces and you won't be able to see them, it's almost like a little bit of hidden storage. You can still access them but uh, other people can't see them.